Hey everybody, this is Everyday Commentary. This is a Sweet Stuff Saturday recorded on an actual Saturday. I'm downstairs in my basement and I got two really cool pieces of kit in this week, both of which are on the table in front of you, both of which I wanna talk about. So the knife is the Kaiser Nice Guy. I have not bought a Kaiser knife probably since the Feist first came out. And this knife is a sub three inch blade. It's made with, uh, as you can see right there, 154 cm it has carbon fiber handle scales it has a deep carry over the top pocket clip this is an azo my design if you uh are around at all in the knife world and you followed kaiser azo has been designing knives for kaiser for a long time i'm not sure if he's an employee or if he's just a frequent collaborator but this design is my first azo and it is just wonderful this is a really great little blade it is a liner lock, as you can see, and it has a liner only on one side, which means that this knife is super duper light. The other thing is because of the blade size and shape, it's actually pretty people friendly. I mean, as people friendly as you're gonna find for a flipper. A couple other things that are really cool details. I'm not sure if you've noticed, but there is actually a finger choil here. There's an unsharpened portion of the blade that goes right up to the cutting edge, and it gives you a little bit of an ability to choke up. There's also two sets of jimping. There's one here, which you would expect, and then there's another one up here for precision cuts. I really like that. It's a simple, easy add, and it makes the knife a little bit more versatile. A couple other things that are super cool. The fit and finish is outstanding. This knife snaps open each time. The deployment is great. The detent, watch this, ready? Ooh. D10 is super crispy. I can put a lot of pressure on here and then fire the knife out. I love crispy detents. This is good. Um, the other thing that's nice about the knife is this carbon fiber is really punching above its weight. This knife was $50 and the carbon fiber here is some of the nicest carbon fiber I have seen. If you look on the edge, this is one way you can sort of tell the grade of carbon fiber. If you look on the edge, sometimes you'll see little pits or voids. There is absolutely no pitting or voiding anywhere on this knife. Well, probably shouldn't say voiding, but you know what I mean. There's no holes here on the side of the carbon fiber. The front side is very, very smooth to the touch. And these rounded chamfered edges are excellent. Super nice. Another little detail of this knife that I think is super cool is if you notice, this really pronounced belly actually has a negative blade angle. That is, the instead of a straight edge, uh, uh, a straight edge portion that goes out. It breaks the plane and goes below the plane of the handle. And this makes the knife a really, really aggressive cutter. So like, check out this. And let's see if I can get this on camera. Show you what I mean. Like, it gives you a lot more uh, cutting power without adding a recurve. That's one of the things I don't like on knives. Recurves are just very hard to sharpen and they don't do a whole lot more than what just a negative blade angle would. You see this a lot on traditional knives where they have like a straightaway that looks straight and is straight, but it's actually at this angle that's below the handle of the knife. I'm obviously, I'm exaggerating with my fingers, but like, it's like right here. And so, as you approach, you're coming down, this portion of the blade, the belly of the blade is already below the plane of the handle. Really, really good, nice design. It's very subtle here. It doesn't look weird. And it makes the knife just a better cutter. Super good knife for uh, 50 bucks. I am going to do a little shootout of $50 knives. It's gonna be this, the Civivi, uh, Baby Banter, and the QSP Canary. Uh, it, these knives are just great, and they show you how refined and how good the knife market is right now. But on to another piece of kit. This is the Convoy S2 Plus with an 18350 body tube. So this is a light that flashlight fans have loved for a long time. And I am just now getting on the bandwagon for reasons I am not sure. I cannot believe I missed this light. This light is absolutely, completely, and totally incredible. It blows my mind that lights like this exist and that they cost as little as this light costs. This light costs 
$22 shipped from China. It is, it was with the battery tube, the extra battery tube, a vape cell battery, and the pocket clip, which comedically costs 75 cents. The pocket clip's not super great. It's a little flimsy. You have these backer uh, nuts here to get the screws in. Uh, and it does move around a little bit. You can, I'm going to tighten this up as soon as this video is done. But overall, this is an incredible package. And here is why. You can choose basically any color or material you want. Brass, copper, titanium. I chose aluminum because I don't care. You can also get a rubber or a metal boot. And then you can get a ton of different emitters. This light has so many options that it's almost like getting a custom light for 22 bucks. The other thing is there's a healthy community out there modding these lights because these lights are very easy to mod. This is an awesome, awesome option if you are looking for a budget-friendly uh, flashlight. And in the 18350 uh, size, it's actually pocketable. The 18650 is a really big light. It's like this big. But this light is pretty pocketable. It tail stands. It does everything you need. And it was $22. For all the people out there who are like, oh, the Ozark Trail Knife is a great value. This is as good a value or better in the flashlight world. It is a little more expensive. It's not $10. It's $20. But you are paying for shipping from China, which you don't do necessarily directly. Uh, when you buy the Ozark Trail knife and you get to pick and choose. Imagine if the Ozark Trail actually let you like pick your blade steel. Would you pay 10 bucks more for that? Yes. And this is that option in flashlight form. And by the way, the emitters are not junk emitters. I have a Nietzsche uh, 519 in here. You can get basically anything you want. You have, They have a huge range of color temperatures. I have a uh, 5700K uh, Nietzsche 519 in here and it is great. Great, great, great. It's a really cool little flashlight. If you don't have an S2 uh, Plus from Convoy, d d like stop this video, go get one. If you have any, even like passing interest in flashlights, they are incredible, incredible for the money. Um, it makes it really hard to recommend another light under a hundred dollars because this light can do so much for so little and it is super duper versatile with tints and emitters and battery configurations i mean it just does a ton of work for such a little bit of money so uh that was the sweet stuff saturday for today the convoy s2 plus and the kaiser azo nice guy i will see you later